Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. Today we are going to continue our discussion in Convergence Divergence and we will learn a very easy test and that test is called the Leibniz test and this test is used to test the convergence and divergence of alternating series. Okay, till now in this series I had been talking about positive term series. We learned limit comparison test, then we learned ratio test or Dow Lombard's ratio test and when Dow Lombard's ratio test fails we used RAPS test or the higher ratio test and we learned integral test. Now we will learn Leibniz test but the speciality is it's not positive term series like before. It's an alternating series. So let's learn what's an alternating series. So look at this. Suppose a series is in this form like u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 etc etc. That means plus minus plus minus etc then we call it alternating there is one more possibility that is it can be minus plus minus plus etc anyway when you write in sigma format we write the positive term series like sigma un but here we will not be able to do this because the sign behind the uns keep on changing now take a look at minus 1 the whole power n if you substitute 1 it will give us minus if you substitute 2 it will automatically become plus if you substitute 3 it will be minus so what we do is we multiply un with minus 1 the whole power n or maybe minus 1 the whole power n plus 1 according to our necessity anyway it's denoted by okay this is what I told you now remember we always start from 1 and when you put 1 it will be minus u1 and when you put 2 it will be plus u2 and when you put 3 it will be minus u3 and so on and you can use this here if you put n equal to 1 you will get 1 because minus 1 the whole power 0 will be 1 and u1 and when you put n equal to 2 it becomes negative when you put n equal to 3 it becomes positive etc etc and you will get this or you can use minus 1 to the whole power n plus 1 that's all the logic is same ok now let's go for the test so I will repeat once more till now we had been dealing with positive term series and this is the first time we have a series in which uh, what you call there are positive and negative terms and they alternate it's it's like plus minus plus minus for sure so we have three possibilities the series can converge the series can diverge or the series can oscillate if you don't remember the word oscillate I will recommend you to watch the first video in the series Convergence and Divergence. Ok, let's go for the test. So, let's consider one alternating series. And that means u1 minus u2 plus u3 etc etc. And the first condition. You should make sure the series is decreasing. Look at this. The first term is the biggest. The first term is bigger than the second and the second is bigger than the third in general un should be bigger than or equal to un plus 1 and the second condition limit n tends to infinity un is equal to 0 and if both the conditions are satisfied the series is convergent ok I will keep the test here and one important note Alternating series means there are three possibilities, not like the positive term series. It can converge, it can diverge, it can oscillate. 
so if this number 1 or number 2 if any of these conditions fail then you should not say the series is divergent you should simply say it is not convergent I will repeat once more there are three possibilities if condition 1 and 2 are satisfied it is convergent and if condition 1 or 2 fails then there are two possibilities so you should simply say the series is not convergent ok now let's start with one question and before we start I will repeat this is one of the easiest test among the series ok so clearly alternating I don't have to explain that so let I will put the question here and let sigma minus 1 to the power n minus 1 un be the given series and then un equal to 1 by n it's like 1 by 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 so the pattern goes and we get 1 by n let's write un plus 1 also okay now now look at this there are many ways to prove this condition number 1 what is condition number 1 we have to prove that un is bigger than un plus 1 bigger than or equal to suppose you want to prove a is greater than or equal to b one method is you find a minus b and establish it's greater than or equal to 0 or you can use your common sense and compare look at this the numerator is the same but the denominator is bigger here and if the denominator is big this term will be small that means un is bigger than or equal to un plus 1 now there is a third method that is you can take your calculator and put values like 1 2 3 and confirm it when you put 1 you get 1 and when you put 1 here you get 1 by 2 of course 1 is bigger than 1 by 2 and if you put 2 you get 1 by 2 and you will get 1 by 3 ok if you are not that good with fractions just convert it into decimals and compare anyway I am going to write clearly un greater than or equal to un plus 1 warning make sure it is clear either prove it or confirm it and write clearly un greater than or equal to un plus 1 ok now the second condition that is the limit condition so what we do is we have to find the limit n tends to infinity un we have our un on the right side of the screen so I will substitute and that's simple enough zero. ok that's it both the conditions are satisfied and that implies our series is convergent ok now we have another question clearly it's an alternating series I'll repeat clearly it's an alternating series because we are minus 1 to the power k plus 1 because when I plug in 1 it will be positive when I plug in 2 it will be negative when I plug in 3 it will be positive etc etc now they have given the series in terms of k if you want you can proceed with k but um, I'm used to that u n so let's start I'll put the question here let the given series be please be very careful yeah u k they are given in terms of k but that's not a big deal so u n will be so what will be u n n plus 3 the whole divided by n into n plus 1 now what's the next thing to do yeah exactly u n plus 1 I have warned you previously be very careful when you change n into n plus 1 I'll repeat be very careful when you change n into n plus 1 here it's ok so n plus 1 plus 3 n plus 1 n plus 1 plus 1 you can use a calculator or any method you like but confirm that 
u n is bigger than or equal to u n plus 1. Okay, so you can put take your calculator, put n equal to 1, n equal to 2 and confirm it. Anyway, I am confident about that because in the new in the denominator actually you can construct this part in the denominator of un plus 1 we can construct this plus some additional things and that's so clear or I'll give you another method you just find un minus un plus 1 and that will be n plus 4 by n plus 1 n plus 2 and 1 by n plus 1 goes outside so we end up with n plus 3 by n minus n plus 4 by n plus 2 you calculate this and prove that it's greater than or equal to c Okay, let's move ahead. So, please write clearly un greater than or equal to un plus 1. Now, the second condition, you have to find the limit. Limit n tends to infinity un. And that will be, I kept our un here. And you can take a few things outside. Cancel and apply the limits. And that's it. So, both the conditions are satisfied and hence the series is convergent. So, that's it. This is a small video, but that's all about the test. Okay, so I'll be soon back with radius of convergence and interval of convergence, absolute convergence, etc. So, till then, bye.